Hi, you guys. How are you? I am uh, starting something new. So something I've noticed is that everyone is super bored. Um, I've had some people actually say to me like, oh, I'm so sorry that you can't do your five minute crafts anymore. And I've had other people say, oh, I really wish that I could still do them. And so I really wanted to give you guys an opportunity to still be creative. So um, I am doing something else. I asked Taylor to help me come up with a name because um, what I'm offering is two crafts and it's going to be $10. Um, and so I said, Taylor, what could it be called? And I was like, I want something fun. And I came up with a bunch of really goofy names, which I will not share with you because <laughs> they're a little bit ridiculous. But Taylor came up with uh, two for 10, which I really thought was a good one. So the idea being that there are two crafts, um, I'm probably gonna do like a craft and a card kind of a thing, um, and it's gonna be two for 10. So if you're shipping it, uh, if I'm gonna ship it to you, then it will be an extra $5, so it'll be um, two for 10 plus $5 for shipping. Oh, I like the fact there's alliteration there, which is fun. So what we have here is I have, this one says um, to a friend, um, and then I also have, um, oh, it says to a friend, have an uplifting day. So how I'm gonna do this is it's gonna be a little bit upside down for you, which I think it'll still be okay. Um, and then I'll just flip things this direction so you can see more better, okay? Isn't that so cute? And it's using this new Graphic 45 paper. And then I like the inside here too, because it has this direction here. And so I kind of did that on, um, I did this on purpose with the ribbon here, how it also has that diagonal direction with these lines here. So kind of like, it's kind of geometric. And then also some of this fun mesh ribbon, which I love and then you get the little box that kind of goes with it so we have um the, the uh, card and we have a box so I'm gonna start with the card okay here we go so in your ten dollar little packet this is what you're gonna get and so um every uh, so I'm not gonna do it every day but five I'm gonna aim for five days a week let's see how this goes if I can do it I was sitting down and I was like well can I really come up with five you know, different cards and crafts every single day, like, you know, a new one every day, like five a week, basically, right? And I realized as I was sitting there, I was like, I came up with five ideas, cards and crafts in about five minutes. So I was like, all right, well, I think I can probably come up with, you know, five different ones every week. Um, so here we go. All right. So in this little packet, you get all these fun little goodies in here. So I'm going to start with, um, well, I'm going to pull up the items for the box and that's going to go over here so it's going to be this little floral um and then the two little squares and the piece of darker ribbon let me set that to the side over here all right now these are the items and so the only thing that you're going to need is a pair of scissors and some glue um, or double-sided tape works great so those are the things i have and then um this is what we have here all right so this is your card base. I've already folded it in half for you. And then what I did here was you have some squares and so you can kind of arrange them however you would like. They are double-sided. Well, the double-sided of the back of the gingham, of course, is a pattern paper, so that might not work out. But this one is just the dot. And because I did my original with the floral, which I do really like, but I decided for this one, maybe we'll just do the, um, We'll keep it more monochromatic here. Okay, so on your card here, what you're gonna do is you're gonna have these pieces like this, and you're gonna have these pieces like this. I recommend laying it out first just to see how much space you're gonna need top and bottom so that it lines out right. And there's probably gonna be about an eighth of an inch between each piece here, okay? Now, I'm gonna show you how to make it so that it all matches up nicely, all right? What you're gonna do, is glue your skinny pieces on first in the corners, one here and one up here. Then you're gonna glue this piece on next, your other corner pieces. So you're gonna do all your corner pieces first, okay? And that's gonna make it so much easier because if you don't do it this way, if you're just like, I'm, I know what I'm doing, I'm gonna figure this out. Um, the chances of you not making it perfectly centered are pretty high because look what happens here. See, there's a little bit extra space. So I'm going to leave it like that because I'm kind of okay with it. But if you're not okay with it, you may want to skew that piece in. Oh, you don't have time. Well, now you know. Always watch the video first. So I'm going to leave that space like that. I think it'll still be okay. 
So this one is probably an eighth and a half, an eighth and an, an eighth and a sixteenth, maybe even almost two eighths of an inch between those two. But I think it'll still be all right. I mean, it's still a cute card. All right, then what we have here is I have this piece like this. And so what you're going to want to do with this one is you're going to want to cut these at an angle and we're going to do opposite angles. And you'll see what I mean in a second. Okay. So I'm going to cut this at an angle like so. Then this piece, I'm going to save it for a second and bring it over here. And you're going to want to be cutting this at the opposite angle. So it kind of matches up all fun like, and so I'm going to line this up right here so that it matches at the corner. Okay, I hope you guys can see that. Okay, this corner here is matching at the corner there, and it's going to give me this the guide so that I can cut that off. Okay, so that those match up like this. All right, I hope you can see what I'm talking about. Okay, all right. So then I'm going to take my mesh piece of ribbon here. I'm going to cut it. I won't. I'm going to cut it lengthwise with my pair of scissors. If you have a double-sided tape, this is a really great opportunity to use your double-sided tape. I'm using a double-sided tape roller, and I'm just going to put some double-sided tape right along, just in the middle, right here. And I'm going to stick my pieces here, like so. The reason I cut this in half is because if you don't, you're not really going to see very much of the mesh ribbon. If you really don't care how much the sh shows of the mesh ribbon, then you can just lay your piece down. But I did lay it, and there's a little bit of space kind of in between. Okay, hopefully you can see what I'm talking about there. All right, now I'm going to put a little bit more double-sided tape down or glue. Um, if you happen to only have glue, just put your your glue down, and then you're going to want to hold your ribbon in place for about oh, unfortunately, about 20 seconds. It's kind of that's why I recommend double-sided tape. But um, you will find that glue is okay. It's just not really my favorite for that part. All right. Then you're going to trim this, and you're, you'll know how much to trim it based off of where your your um, the bend in the paper is, because um, you may want we want to make sure to only put the mesh right on this side of right in the middle there where of the piece of paper. All right. Then you're going to put that on the front of the card, and you're going to wrap that around the front like so. Okay. Now, of course, mine looks different than the original because I flipped my. Uh, my floral paper over the other side because I wanted this to be a little bit more masculine, which I thought was kind of enjoyed that. All right, then I'm going to put this, I'm going to fold that over to the inside and same here. And I kind of like this kind of diagonal. I kind of enjoy that, that kind of angle there. All right, now, oh, where's my little piece? Oh, so you should have two little pieces and it says to a friend, have an uplifting day. And so then on the front of your card here, you're going to go ahead and you're going to glue these on like so. And like this. Okay. All right. And then I'm going to glue this right here and right here. All right, now this ribbon right here, I'm going to wrap and I'm going to wrap it from the inside. I'm going to wrap it all the way around to the front and just tie a knot. Now, if you don't have someone next to you to hold that, their finger down in place, you're going to do one more time underneath. I hope you can see what I just did there. And when you pull that, it actually wants to stay a little bit better. So then when you twist that, then you can tie your second knot there. Okay, like that. All right. So then you have that. And then I just kind of bent this a little bit and kind of scooted this over. Because I kind of like that it's at that kind of same angle. There you have it. Cute. So then you can have two different styles of cards with, oh, and you, of course, can mix and match and do whatever you want if you want to do something a little bit different and a little bit more exciting. Okay. All right. There we have that. Oh, and then I gave you these extra little pieces, these little chickens, because there's just more from that, from one of the paper lines there. So I thought that'd be kind of cute in case you want to fussy cut these. You guys are welcome to watch me fussy cut all these little pieces if you would like. 
Oh my gosh. I'm actually not going to cut out all these little pieces. I'm just going to cut out a couple of these little chickens. But you're, I gave you these little pieces so that you can decorate your cards and your little box and stuff. Um, just because, you know, it's fun to kind of have little critters sometimes on your cards in case you're into having little critters and stuff. Um, some of you, well, I tried everyone um, to give you a, a little word. I don't know. You might, it might say like the country morning or something like that. And they're all a little bit different. Um, so you can use your little word if you want. Or you know what? You can even, if you have other card bases that you want to use, you can make a, a variety of different cards with the different pieces that I gave you. So um, I've got some fun things. So you can do a little chicken. And then on the inside of the card, this actually works out great because I have orange here. I don't have orange anywhere else. So I can put this on the inside of the card. And then we have the little chicken time. So cute. And he's just adorable. It just makes you happy, huh? It just makes you happy. How cute is that? Oh, so fun. And like I said, you have other little pieces there that you can work with to kind of create something cool. All right. I'm going to go throw my scraps away here and move on to the next one. So now for the box. All right. So with a little box, pretty cute. Now check this out. I wanted to show you what's cool about the box. If you pull on this, ta-da! It opens right up. Isn't that fun? So um, how I did that was you just put your ribbon in here. You just put the top on the box. One, makes it so much easier to open up the box. And two, it's super easy to wrap it around the front and then tie your little bow. Isn't that cute? So in your little kit is your little um, pieces of cardboard. And now yours are already scored. Scored means there's a fold line in it. Now, mine are not scored because I wanted to show you how I did this because everyone's always looking to make a box. And as long as you have this thin weight chipboard, you can make a box. I sell the thin weight chipboard for 40 cents a piece. It's 11 by 17. And what I did was I cut this little strip here and this is four and a quarter. Okay. Four and a quarter inches wide there. And with my paper cutter here, I did four and a quarter. Okay. By four and a quarter. So now I have a four and a quarter by four and a quarter inch piece. Then I did a second piece at four and an eighth, right? So I did a little bit smaller and I trimmed the side so it's also four and an eighth. So in your kit, you have two pieces. One is four and a quarter and one is four and an eighth, okay? It doesn't matter. You don't need to know. It doesn't matter on your end which one you're using. I just wanted to let you know that when you're making a box, top and bottom, one needs to be one size and the other one needs to be an eighth of an inch one eighth of an inch smaller okay that's how you get the top and bottom all right now i'm going to start this is called a scoreboard here and so it makes the fold line and the, um, what i'm going to do is i'm going to go in from one inch from the side here and i'm going to score it at one inch and that's this tool is going to fit into the little grooves here so it's going to go into the one inch groove and then i'm going to turn in this 90 uh, 90 degrees and then i'm going to do one inch again and i'm going to do that on all four sides it doesn't matter which one you start with because you're doing the same thing with the second one okay one inch one inch one inch one inch one inch all right all right so that's what you have in your kit there all right now you're gonna take a pair of scissors. This is where you need the scissors part. And there's on these little score lines here, right here, you're only gonna cut one side of that little square and you're gonna bend to the other side, okay? Hope that makes sense. You're gonna turn it over and do the same thing with the other side. Just the little flaps. So the, what you have is little flaps that are still connected, you're not cutting the squares off. And you're gonna bend all the little areas where those fold, those score lines are, okay? Now the other side, same thing. Slice, whoops, slice. Hopefully you're not rushing like I just was. And then slice, slice. Okay. All right. Now you're going to take your glue. You're going to lay that down like so. And you're going to go ahead and fold this in. All right. Then on the other side here, we're going to do the same thing. So you put glue on the flaps only. Okay. And then we're folding the other side in and so that it matches. And you're going to hold that for about 10 seconds. I am 
we're going a little quick here, so I'm going to make sure and hold those in place. If needed, you can always go back in with a little bit more glue. I'm using the Nuvo Deluxe Adhesive, which I really, really like. Okay, so once you've, gl you've glued those down, you're going to do the same thing here. Again, glue just on the flaps. You can go up to the very edge if you would like. If you're going quickly, you can just do a little scribble like I was doing. Again, you're going to fold those in, and then this one's going to fold forward like so. Okay, and you're going to hold that in place for about 10 seconds. I'm not very good about waiting 10 seconds, so I'm always like, yeah, get it done, woo! All right, and what we're doing is we're making sure to match up our edge, our corner there with the edge of our little tabs, okay? And what you can do is if you're finding that this is happening where you can see the top of your little, um, the top of your little piece here, if you're like, oh, it's showing, it's bothering me, I can't match up, or on the edges here, you know, when you're looking down on it, you're like, oh, I can totally see that. If you're looking down on it, this edge right here, you can take your scissors and actually line it up with your corner and actually trim that down um, so that you don't see that if that's really bothering you. So if you're looking down on it. So when you're looking down on it like that, you can really see where it's gonna match up with the edge. And you can be like, oh yeah, I really need to trim that off. Okay, so that's what you do at the corners there. Those little flaps that are sticking over. And then here, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go in from um, this side here, from the corner and go in. And from here, we're going from the middle out to the corner. So you're just gonna kind of, basically what you're doing is you're squaring off those corners there and you're just making it so everything looks nice and clean and you can have your, run your hand along the edge. If it's catching at all, you can take your scissors and kind of match that up. You might need a fine point pair of scissors for doing that, or you may not care at all. So, but for those of you out there that are like, ooh, I really want that to look a little bit cleaner, that's how you do that. Okay. I'm gonna look garbage again. All right, so now, if you've done this correctly, it should match up perfect perfect little box. All right, now all you do is you take your ribbon, you lay that on there like so, you pop that on. All right, then you take your little box here, your little paper, put some glue around all four sides of that and stick that on. So there's a nice and even amount of brown paper all the way around, you'll see the brown, and then you're just going to wrap this around the front for your nice little bow. Super fun and easy, very, very quick and very, very cute. All right, now if you look, were to look closely at mine, you would see that I made my little um, edges real cute with a tiny little chevron. I don't know if you guys can even see that there. So to do that, what I do is I trim about halfway in and then halfway out, whoa, like so. So you get that tiny, tiny, tiny little one. All right, and it's pretty cute. Kind of adds a little extra. If you're, for those people that like little added extra details, it's pretty fun. All right, and there we have today's two for 10. Thanks for joining me. Let's see you tomorrow.